you know, if I move my watch, it's really, you know, unconditional. Um, I guess the easiest way to say it is just love of my clients. Just love. Why else would I get out of bed at 4 a.m. this morning to offer to, offer to do it? Because I care. And if I knew someone could do for me what I could do for them, <laughs> I, I would. You know, so, <sighs> like I said, it's a matter of pushing forward and, and showing up to do what I said I was going to do. And people expect it. You know, it's funny. Some guys show up like, I don't expect miracles. They're like, wow, that was amazing. And, you know, you get a text the next day. It's like, hey, I have friends calling you. I told them to expect miracles. So it's like, do whatever, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do whatever I possibly can to fix you. And that means I have to be strong. And um, so I, I can't let a cramp. I've got to fix myself. There's, there's not really a choice. You know, and, and uh, you know, I'm an energy guy and I'm a little bit spiritual, so... And supposedly I had a nerve recovery test done a few years ago, and it goes to 7.0, which is like a world-class high school athlete. And he did it a few times, and he's like, you're 8.5. Chart ends here, and you're over here. He's like, your recovery is like a Vander Holyfield. You know, so, I don't know, man. I, I, I run a pretty hard schedule, and I've terrified people that have tried to, tried to do what I do, or assistance, and... I've been doing it a long time, you know, and I just, I do it quietly, so like, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's someone on, you know, some pro or some Hollywood elite actor, like, that's cool, I love hearing their story too, um, but the most amazing experiences were people that, you know, sometimes had nothing, and, um, you know, it's those experiences that, you know, you, you, you take that minute and and it's almost like I realize where I'm at complete peace, even though I'm sweating profusely and my hands ache and I've got blisters in my fingers. Um, but it doesn't matter if it's 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. Or, or sometimes midnight because people that I sometimes stay with won't work. Um, it's sharing that moment and being in the moment and... And like I said before, doing what you showed up to do, it doesn't matter if I'm in pain, I don't even feel that. You know, I just, I just get it done. So I don't know if that's what makes me good or the fact that I just show up or the fact that I make people believe or the fact that, uh, you know, I think I intimidate people because I just, I'm very real. You know, and I'm told I have the ability to love in a way that a lot of people don't. And I guess being a large guy, I forget like, oh yeah, I'm 100 pounds heavier than I think I am in my head. but. Um, a lot of people get intimidated about that, but I guess you got to show up real, get ready to be fixed. I tell you what, I've had people that have been in insane car accidents eight years ago in my career, in the beginning of my training career. And I'd be working his biceps, and he's like, I feel that in my triceps, and I'm like, everything was completely opposite. I was like, how are you even walking? You know, you read all this stuff with all the different certifications and all the classes, and they're like, but this guy doesn't fit anything I freaking learned. You know, and it, I don't care how many certs you have. What I care about is the results you get, you know, and, and your work experience. You know what I mean? So... Now I'm at a point where I can look across the gym and almost feel what they're doing. Just my, my traps hurt. I gotta leave. You know, I gotta have my own place. Cause like, oh, call me. Low back. It's gonna hurt. You know, like <laughs> you don't want to do that. I never would. But, um, man, and I never want to make fun of someone. But uh, it's crazy, man. You just you get to a point where mechanically I can tell if something's firing by just looking. And I can see the slightest difference and, you know, that mirror right there being off about a sixteenth of an inch from the one above it. Like, you know, I don't know if it's growing up and looking at angles, making sure the water ran the right way with my father, doing thousands of, of just different, you know, for me it was just fun crafts and making stuff, but everything was exactly straight. And I was an artist, I drew a lot. Um, I had a lot of fun growing up doing stuff like that. So, uh, 
now I can look at someone and I'm like, all right, this is off, and from the thousands of hours of conversations you've had, you can tell you, I typically have a client walk in and I tell them how they're sleeping, and I ask them how they're driving, and you know, just some, some intuition pops in my mind, and I just ask them questions, and, and they're just like, what? You know, and it's, you know, again, you just, you know how to fix people. It's so many different things you have to use, not only experience and, and what you, the basic information you've been given, but that only gets you so far. And if, one, you show up for money, and if, two, you don't give a crap, you don't have clients, and you never move forward, and I don't know what you're doing, that life sucks to me. And that's why it was always hard for me to work in bigger facilities, um, just because there's so much animosity, because people were, were like, what, uh, like, what's going on? I won't work Saturdays. I'm like, okay, no problem. I just hated turning people away, so I ended up working like 80 hours a freaking week. You know, and uh, again, you just fall in love with people and they become family and you try to improve their lives and you see major improvements and you're like, this is freaking cool because I kind of feel like I won. You know, and man, you learn so much about psychology and nutrition and cleansing and blood work and so many things that, that doctors don't even look at. Why? Because I listen to my clients and beyond all that, I give a crap to the point to where I, I will tell someone like you're not doing anything I've asked so you need to find someone that cares less about you or I'm gonna charge you more if I'm the only form of health care you've got like you don't have a choice like you show up like I'm gonna freaking fix you and I'm gonna change your beliefs and if you don't like that then you know just stay in pain absolutely man Imagine trying to fit in your girlfriend's skinny jeans and squat or lunch, you know? And then imagine putting a pair of bigger jeans on or no jeans at all, you know, or, you know, making your legs a tenth larger for that matter and having that much more blood flow, circulation, range of motion, you know, just um, blood flow. Uh, it was funny, I had a... One of, my, one of my clients was a soccer player and had knee surgeries and had all sorts of issues and one of his legs really hurt. So I worked on it for 20 minutes and just cranked on it. And he came the next day and he's like, uh, I rode the bike like normal for 20 minutes. The leg you worked on didn't burn until the 15th minute. My good, good leg, bad, good leg. Yesterday, my good leg from yesterday before you fix this one, which is now my good leg started burning the fifth minute. He was like confused, it was like hilarious. And little by little you start to learn like, oh, crazy. He's like, can you make them match? And like, I took an injured leg with massive knee pain and now you don't even feel lactic acid build up? Wow, and then all of a sudden my, my bodybuilders, their strength increases like tenfold. Not only do you remove pain, which, you know, everything is mental and emotional, you know? I, I have goals and they were always just things that I wanted, whether it was something superficial like a killer watch or, or just some goal to achieve by, by working hard. It was just like whatever, you know, and, and uh, it was just always something I did. So if you're not training to hit a certain PR, if you're not eating to, hit, uh, to put on a certain amount of muscle, then why would you be frustrated and, and how can you expect to move forward or move anywhere if there's no plan to do so? You know, you have to be successful if you plan for success and if you execute for success. What the hell is success to you? And do you have a plan for that? It's pretty basic information. And then get your ass out of bed at 4 a.m. and you take your six or eight meals and you eat them. You know, and you just, me, my methodologies, man, I, I do. I have. I've studied like so much different stuff, that's just what I'm into, because I spend so much time with people, I'm going to fix them more. Um, and, and I want to improve myself, because I can only move forward ment I can only move forward physically, mentally, and emotionally, I'm prepared to do that. You know, like we talked about before, and obviously Arnold was big on that, Michael Jordan was big on that. You know, Sean White's not going to hit that kicker until he lands that trick in his head. He's not trying to, you know, I'm not going to think about striking out. I'm going to think about hitting that out of the park until I feel it, until I feel the emotion. I tell my athletes, you know, Kai Green even, you know, I mean, I was in a theta state trying to bless that man when I worked on him, you know, and 
everything I possibly can to give my athletes that motivation to the point where like, man, you're intense. I'm like, I am, now I'm here. Now there's two of us, you know, and you're a nutrition guy and your other 10 guys that work at your massage, whatever. So, man, I've always had my circumferences. I've always had my body fat, my weight written on my damn mirror. You know, what are you working for today? Why, why are you in existence? You know, life's a lot more fun when, when you're chasing dreams, but then you realize dreams are really only a culmination of a lot of goals, and goals are really only a culmination of achieved tasks done on a daily basis with consistency. It's really just basic. It's just, you know, and then, and then believing, now that's where you want to get deep. You know, the biology of belief, Bruce Lipton. You know, literally if you believe something, to the extent it, it literally becomes of your DNA makeup. Like, I'm like I opened up a few pages, I flipped through, I'm like, I knew it! Threw it on the shelf, you know, like, no offense. You know, I, I listened to the audio book, but, um, so that's the real question. Who do I believe I am in this life? You know, that's, that's the real question. It's not someone, I, I'm not the person I was last week, I'm not the person I was five years ago, and I won't be the person I am next week or the, the week after that. I'm, I'm always hungry for more has nothing to do with anyone else. I just want to be become the, the best version of me. And the the mountains I've I've conquered and, and the lowest valleys that I've fallen to multiple times in my life just made me hungrier to to do things that are impossible and serve God in the best way that I possibly can. Um, so it's really between me and him. And it's cool that everyone else on my table gets the benefit because uh, you know again I'm, I want to be the greatest that ever lived that's just how I roll